When you decide that you're ready to start a family and then it doesn't happen, it starts to become like this obsession. And then um, you just kind of lose like the joy of, of your everyday life. It's been a long journey for Sindel and Chris Surdeville. They started trying to have a baby four years ago when they were both in their late 20s. They struggled trying to conceive and resorted to in vitro fertilization after several failed treatments and a miscarriage. It consumed your everyday life because your normal activities were not as fun anymore because your only sole focus was to try to make him. The Certevels were diagnosed with unexplained infertility. 20% of the couples that we see in average have what we call unexplained infertility. Infertility is on the rise, with at least one in 10 couples struggling to get pregnant in the United States. Age is a major factor as far as the reproductive potential of uh, any couple, the age of the female partner. According to the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, advanced maternal age refers to women age 35 and older. The term is intended to highlight the increased risk of complications that can occur, such as difficulty conceiving, miscarriage, and birth defects. The age factor is pretty well known. Most of us have been reminded of our ticking clock at some point, but new research shows that infertility rates are rising because sperm counts are dropping. All we can say is it has significantly declined with no indication that the rate is slowing down. Dr. Shauna Swan is a reproductive epidemiologist. Her research found sperm counts have dropped by half in the last four decades. In 1973, the average ejaculate had 99 million sperm per milliliter. By 2011, the average ejaculate had 47 million sperm per milliliter. Don't forget, it's not just the number of sperm. They have to be shaped well. It's quality. They have to swim well because they have to swim, swim for them a long distance and, you know, it's hard, you know, upstream. In her new book, Countdown, Swan says based on the current curve, sperm counts could be down to zero by 2045. So we know, for example, that smoking lowers your sperm count. We know that binge drinking does as well. But Swan hypothesizes other factors are leading to an eventual fertility crisis. While you can ask people how much they smoke or how many drugs they take, you can't do that with environmental exposures. She believes chemicals from plastics are getting into our bodies, impacting our hormones, and ultimately interfering with our reproductive functions. If you eat unprocessed food, particularly if you can afford it, organic food, then you are avoiding a lot of exposure. But even changing your eating habits won't entirely slow the curve. Swan says we need new products made of safer materials. It will take government intervention. They have to be made of different chemicals, chemicals that can't interfere with our hormones. It's a call to action many couples, like the Certevels, can get behind. So there has to be something that's causing these fertility issues that we never saw before. Hi, Cannibal. And a dilemma many fertility doctors are tracking. Concept that, yes, maybe years down the road, we are going to be living in an epidemic of infertility because there's just, you know, man just does no longer produce enough sperm. It's, it's a fascinating concept. This will take a, lot, a big effort. I believe we can do this.